What's good? It's your boy Fanon. Okay. Uh, it continues. According to an article that came out by World Boxing News, Shelly Finkel says that uh, Aunt Deontay Wilder will sign the contract uh, by Friday for uh, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. So we will, so we should hear uh, thereafter, shortly thereafter, when the bout's going to be made. So let me go through the article and tell me, you know, let me tell you what I think about it. You know, still, I have no excitement in this because just because they sign and they agree to sign that contract doesn't mean Eddie Hearn won't find another way to get to get out of that bout. So I'll believe it when I see it. However, let's go through the article. Exclusive. Shelly Finkel sets the record straight on Joshua versus Wilder reveals contract will be sent by Friday. Finkel has received a con as revealed a contract will be sent back to matchroom by Friday. Finally, Spink Finkley also wanted to give his side to the recent comments by Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn. First of all, I want to make it clear that Deontay Wilder wants his bout more than Anthony Joshua does, which is evidenced by the fact that Wilder accepted a flat purse for this fight, which is unheard of for a fight of this magnitude. He also has accepted to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK, while Anthony Joshua did not accept a $50 million offer, which Joshua originally asked for, plus a percentage to fight Wilder in the US. Eddie thinks I dislike him. He's wrong. I just have a difference of opinion with him of what a fact is. When I state something as a fact, I have written proof to back it up. I dare Eddie to do the same. To clear up uh, one other fallacy, Eddie knows that they have a written term sheet from us, which details our $50 million offer for Anthony Joshua to fight Deontay Wilder in the U S we have never received uh, from them a response to the term to this term sheet below is the cor correct chronology uh, of where we are with the contract for Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder mega fight on July 11th 2018 Deontay Wilder accepted matchroom's offer to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK this took matchroom by surprise never thinking that Wilder would accept their below market offer shortly after Eddie Hearn went public saying that they would receive a contract by Friday, June 15th. We then when in fact they did not receive a contract until late Monday, July 18th. Let me read that last paragraph again. Shortly after Eddie Hearn went public saying that we would receive a contract by Friday, June 15th, when we in fact did not receive a contract until late on Monday, June 18th. On Tuesday, June 19th, we requested clarification of two points. We did not, they did not respond. I requested them again on Thursday, June 21st, and they finally received a response Friday, June 22nd. Two days later on Sunday, June 24th, I sent them a letter accompanying, uh, acknowledging Eddie's email of June 22nd, telling them that they would have the contract back by Friday, June 29th. Since the contract did not state the date or the venue, I asked for that information. These are facts that Matchroom will have on the contract back to them by Friday, June 29th. All, all being well, fans will begin to look forward to one of the biggest heavyweight fights of the last two decades. The date and venue mentioned by Finkel will be revealed once Joshua and Wilder have signed their portions of the deal. This is just a bunch of, I don't, I still don't believe it. I think this is all good. This is all fun and fun and good, right? That once again, Deontay Wilder and Deontay Wilder's team say that they want the fight. Now, if they sign, now I'm just going to be interested in, honestly, the only thing that I'm interested in is what are they going to say after they sign the, after they send the signed contract back by Friday, that's four days from now. What's the next excuse going to be? 
I'm not going to say that the fight's going to happen next. I don't believe it's going to happen next because they don't want it. What they've wanted to do this whole time is make it look like they are the ones that are trying to make it happen. In reality, they're the ones that are do not want the bout to happen. To have to to send on a contract that doesn't have a date or a venue. And we know that it didn't have a date in the venue because Eddie Hearn was saying in the media that he didn't know whether it was going to be October, November, December, whether it was going to be at Wembley Stadium or whether it was going to be in Cardiff, Cardiff, right? I guess at Principality. These are things that have been said in the media by Eddie Hearn. We know that he doesn't know that they didn't know what the date and the venue of it was going to be. I'm not even sure how you can, how, why anybody would ever agree to something like that that didn't have when the bout was going to be in the actual contract, not the term sheet, not the high level term sheet. And just to edu- just to be, just to be clear, what a term sheet is. A term sheet are just very high level agreement on basic, on some basic agree on some basic terms. Like of the proceedings, we agreed to set uh to split 60-40, 60% to Anthony Joshua, 40% for Deontay Wilder, us team, and then they'll define what that is and They'll say the date is going to the date of the bout is going to be here. The venue is going to be here, right? It's going to be at the Wembley Stadium. It's going to be October 31st. And and I didn't check the date on that. So October 31st, whatever, whatever a set, the second, whatever the second week in October is, whatever it is. But I'm just waiting on this. Well, they came back too late. Or, you know, when we, they said they were going to send it on Friday, we didn't get it. Because I wouldn't doubt that the dude would just tell a story about not having received it and say, oh, on Thursday, well, I'm sorry. On Thursday, we came to an agreement on Thursday with, with uh, Pavekin. Sorry, it, you know, it was Thursday. <laughs> Look, man, it's just a joke at this point in time. And there is no recovery. There's no recovery for Anthony Joshua on this, man. There is no way in the world that this type of buffoonery needs to be taking place. At all to turn down fifty million dollars, to turn down fifty million dollars with an upside on a hundred million dollar on a hundred million dollar fight is ridiculous. In order to you for you so that you can make half of it for the same danger, Deontay Wilder's not going to punch you in the head any any softer in the UK. You're not good. You got no less chance. There's no greater chance of you getting knocked out in the UK. I mean, in the United States than there is of him getting knocked out in the UK. And I still say, even with them signing this, even with them signing it, you know what the last step in this is going to ha- is going to be? They're going to have to countersign it. They're going to have to countersign it. They're going to have to say, okay, well, yeah, well, what he did was what, what, I don't know. But, but I guarantee you what? I do not underestimate at all, not at all, matchroom boxing's ability to make something up. <laughs> just to pull, just to one pull something from left left field and say, oh, well, the venue that we wanted to have, that's now booked. Well, you know, we wanted to do it in October, and Cardiff is busy now. They just told me, you know, it doesn't work for them, and it doesn't work for Wembley. Uh, in either one of those. So really, you know, I'm sorry. We we just can't do it. We got to do it in February next year. That's it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that date would have been good if we did it. You know, if you had signed it, you know, five minutes after I sent it to you, then that would have been good. But now that you signed it and sent this over, no, nah, we can't. We can't have it. But a flat fee. A flat fee. Nobody in the history, like you said, shortly after... <laughs> Oh, my God. On July 11th, 2018, Deontay Wilder accepted Matchroom's offer to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK. This took Matchroom by surprise, never thinking uh, Wilder would accept their below market offer. They offered this dude. If it's the same offer as it was before, that's an 88-12 offer, man. 
And if this guy's willing to take 8812, then look, all of you guys that made these excuses, you got to shut up now. Okay? Whatever the money is, they said they're going to sign it on Friday. On Friday, do you, are you guys going to be quiet? Are you going to be quiet? No, you won't. You'll just go ahead and whatever. Well, you'll just sit and wait. Okay, what is Eddie going to tell us to say next? Okay, what's the... Okay, what is there? Is there? I gotta go watch IFL TV. What did Eddie say next? Well, oh, he's delusional. Oh, he's delusional. Yeah, that's the word of the day. Delusional. Eddie said delusional. He's delusional. <laughs> Just man, this is a joke, man. And quite honestly, Anthony Joshua to the in the United States, I don't know what's going on in there, the UK, other than I know that there's a significant number of UK people come to my channel and say the same thing. Anthony Joshua has totally humiliated himself. Eddie Hearn is humiliated, humiliated himself as humiliated himself with all these, all these stories he's telling. And he's humiliated Anthony Joshua by making the dude look like a coward. And you got, and people can say that he doesn't look like a coward. All you, all he wants, he turned down $50 million to come to the United States by get, and then to take significantly less to fight in the UK. And he's going to come up, gonna come up with an excuse not to make the fight after this if i'm wrong i'm wrong <laughs> if i'm wrong i'm wrong and they say okay we agreed to it. we got the date we got the set alexander pavekin's off okay but still it's not gonna go it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna cover up this foolishness that eddie hearn is perpetrated and anthony joshua is perpetrated this young man this young man was was really on his way to looking like a terrific heavyweight champion. He was looking like he was going to be, you know, like this brand of his was going to be exceptional, right? An exceptional brand. And I always think that's funny listening to people talk about brands. We're going to build this brand. How about you build the product? How about you build the product? You know what I mean? It's like you build the product. You can put any label on it, you know, but the product is what counts. Do you real? do you know that like, the same comp the same company that makes ketchup gives that cat sells that ketchup to five or six different brands. The same people that make McDonald's ketchup make uh make Burger King ketchup. <laughs> the same people that make Burger King ketchup and probably make Wendy's ketchup. It's just Gold's ketchup, but they put another label on the brand. It's the product that matters. So when this bout when this bout comes uh, comes to fruition, if it comes to fruition, the brand isn't going to save De Anthony Joshua. It's not going to save Deontay Wilder. It's the product that's going to be in there. It's the product. Who's the better boxer? And the referee can't pad your chin, man. The referee can't pad your chin. But anyway, man, I'll be real interested to see what happens next. You know how they're going to get out of this one, but. If, it, if I have no doubt that they will, I will be shocked if Eddie Hearn comes back and says on Friday, we have a signed deal. I'd be absolutely shocked. And even then, even if he did do that, he's still full of it because he's already proven he's full of it with story after story after story after story. Having to have somebody hunt you down and harass you into a bo into into a boxing match is ridiculous. Deontay Wilder has had to hunt this guy down. And just claiming that the guy's not hunting you down doesn't make it so. Doesn't mean that he's not. Everybody can see it, man. Like I said before, you know, you and somebody else are sitting in the car and all of a sudden it starts smelling like somebody expelled gas and the other person knows they didn't do it and you know you did. There, you nothing you can say is going to convince that person and that other person in the car that wasn't you. Nothing, because there's only two people in a car. Before, earlier on, maybe a few months ago, somebody could have sold Eddie Hearn could sell that line. He can't sell that line. He can only sell that line to the people that are that he's paying that he's paying the bill for, including you people coming to my channel with the same corny. I don't even believe that you're serious. I don't even believe that these critics coming into these channels or even real people that they're even real because they come with the same corny line and the same. And it's a corny line that comes right out of a speech from Eddie Hearn today. The word of the day was delusional. Eddie Hearn says he thinks Anthony Deontay Wilder is delusional 
and doesn't want to make the bite bout just sign the contract. And all of a sudden there's a bunch of people coming to pages talking about, Oh, you're delusional. You're delusional. Just sign the contract. Just like they, just like they got, they got Eddie Hearn's hand up their back. No independent thought about the matter whatsoever. But you know, hey man, this is boxing. And despite what you guys think, win or lose, boxing happen. whether the fight happens or does not happen, whether Anthony Joshua wins or does not win, it makes no difference to real boxing fans because we got a whole lot of other fighters that we watch. And when this drama plays out, there'll be other boxers to watch. The channel's not going anywhere. I'm not, God willing, I'm not going anywhere. And it's going to be what it is, man. But Anthony Joshua's reputation in the United States is absolutely shot. It's absolutely shot. There's no recovering. And to tell you the truth, boxers in the United States really don't need boxers. And Eddie Hearn, I'll say that. And Eddie Hearn's reputation in the United States is completely fried. Completely and utterly fried. This whole thing has been ridiculous. But anyway, with that, I'm out. Peace.